As a first example, let's apply this new idea of notation to something you've used before, spreadsheets. Spreadsheets are a common way we hold data in the real world. In our spreadsheet, we have rows and columns. To better understand how we use spreadsheets to hold data, let's work through an example. Before even collecting data, we usually start with a question or many questions. Consider I run a small blog about my best and worst adventures with the dogs at the coffee shop, which also sells trinkets related to those adventures. Everything from fetch toys to leashes to doggy bags and everything in between. Questions I might have are, how many people visit my site? Or how much time do visitors spend on my site? Are there differences in traffic depending on the day of the week? How many visitors purchase an item through the blog? In order to answer these questions, say we keep track of the date of the visit, the day of the week of the visit, the amount of time spent on the site, and whether or not an individual buys an item. We can think of each of these as a column. A column in our data set is associated with a random variable. Explaining what a random variable is in English is complicated, but in notation, it's simple. In English, a random variable is a placeholder for the possible values of some process. In notation, it's x. For our website, the date of the visit, the day of the week of the visit, the amount of time spent on the site, and whether or not an individual buys an item are all variables. Let's say we have a visitor on Thursday, June 15th. The visitor stays on our site for five minutes and doesn't buy an item. Then a second visitor visits the site on the exact same day for 10 minutes and they do buy an item. Notice how each of these individuals has been added to our spreadsheet. We might have many more visitors and we could update our spreadsheet accordingly. When using spreadsheets, we frequently analyze a full column to answer our questions of interest. For example, to answer the question of how much time do visitors spend on our site? We need to look at this column. To answer the question of, are there differences in traffic depending on the day of the week? We need to look at this column. And to answer the question of, how many purchases occur through our blog? We need to look at this column. Mathematically, we usually consider a random variable or a column using a capital letter. Commonly, we use the capital letter X but we could just as easily use Y, Z, or any other capital letter. We might say, consider the random variable X, which signifies the amount of time an individual spends on our website. Therefore, X relates to this entire column. Consider we also have a random variable Y, which signifies whether or not an individual purchases an item from the website. So Y relates to this entire column. 